Governor Chris Christie. He's expected to announce a presidential run about an hour from now. But does he even have a shot? Let's ask a GOPAC chairman, Dave Avella. All right, uh, Dave, uh, a lot of people saying too little, too late, and maybe uh, four years too late, as a matter of fact. Chris Christie absolutely could be the nominee. He checks a lot of boxes that Republican primary voters say they want. He has executive government experience in, in leading the state of New Jersey. He's worked to streamline state government in New Jersey. He's shown he can win in a state that isn't always friendly to Republicans. So, you know, as of today here, uh, final days of June 2016, yeah, we're still many months away from uh, the first votes being You're cast. You're talking resume. Uh, we had Jerry Willison here, though, talking accomplishments, and she said he had very few to brag about. Well, look, it's a tough state. He's worked with his state legislature. Uh, it's a tough economy for a lot but of states. But that sounds like the Obama-esque kind of thing. Do we no. want another president that says, yeah, hey, I tried, but it was tough? The last guy left me with a bad but, hand. But he is, well, the advantage that uh, a, the next Republican president is going to have is they're going to have a Republican Congress to work with. And lots of good ideas are being talked about. Look, the best thing Chris Christie, and he has a very smart strategy in doing this, he's talking very specific ideas. And ideas are what rally people together around a common cause. Chris Christie's talking about raising the retirement age. Chris Christie's talking about ways to improve college loans right. so that millennials aren't coming out. And Dave, with I just want to let debt. the audience know what they're looking at here. It's Livingston, New Jersey. That's where I think where he went to high school. That's a high school there. That's where it all began for him. Big, large crowd, large American flag. Uh, you talked about uh, his his ideals on Social Security, means testing them in some degree. I thought his numbers were a little bit too low, and I do give him credit. But uh, you know, does that also kind of tell us about who he is? Like, here's a guy who is so arrogant, he's going to jump on the third rail of politics out the gate. He says, you know what, I'm not worried about it. Give me that third row. I'll put my foot on it, you know. And he's like, and, and then he comes up with a proposal that maybe helps people, but it makes a lot of people worried, too. Well, we're going to see what voters, uh, if they like his ideas and whether they whether they want to rally around what he's trying to sell. That's what's great about politics. Ronald Reagan used to say, let's get everybody in the room, tell them what we're going to do, and see if they buy it. All right.